the king of the back alley jungle. Birds are chirping, flirting with disaster as a tiny orange predator stalks through the grass like a proud jungle cat. Kearney Street cars roar too closely by for this to be a wild place, but my Bailey's is truly a wild man when he is in the yard. Today the tumult of trills are like taunts, begging him to flit, first this way, then that, in hopes of catching even just one feathered quill between his own furry toes and outstretched claws. Instead of lazing about on the porch, as is sometimes the order of the day, my ferocious feline uses his 17 years of earthly experience to scale trees that look impossibly tall to so many of the other cats around this town, or to shoot across the lawn like a bat out of hell when he spots a squirrel or a sparrow or anything else unfortunately near and smaller than himself. I know that later he will curl into the crook of my arm, expressing his pleasure with the low but constant vibration and sound of his perfectly peaceful purr. But for now, he is the king of his back alley castle, and I am content to watch and to let him think that he is the invincible spirit of the warrior ruler that dances and sparkles in his tiny, green eyes.